What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of You Got the Juice, aka. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You got that juice now, baby. My name is Eric Kuto, aka the Juice Man. And today, man, it was going to be a light episode talking about why I use ginger, but we talked about that. And I remember in the short, we talked about papaya. And since we're going to eat this half of the papaya, I'm going to set it over here. But it's a real simple episode talking about papaya. I got some pineapple and some uh, ginger just to make a nice juice because papaya can be really syrupy and you don't really want that. But with papaya, papaya is going to help with parasites. It's going to be a great juice with, filled with a lot of vitamins. But the reason I use papaya a lot is because we all have parasites, whether big, small. And parasites can affect the way you think, the way you're seeing the world, the way you eat, your digestion. Parasites can affect everything. If you have random cravings, nine times out of ten, it's probably the parasites. I'm just, I'm just putting you on game. Don't get mad at me. You did. You might want, you know, it, it just is what it is. But the good thing is that you can always get rid of them. And the papaya seeds, if you just eat these or ingest these, these are great against um, parasites. Black wormwood is really, really great as well. Black walnut husk is really great as well. But for today's episode, light and simple, I already got some uh, papaya sitting here. And since we're big on doing the uh, skin, I'm going to just slice some of the skin off, you know, because... I haven't really used papaya skin. And I most of the time when you see me dealing with the skin, it's like to be sanitary too. Like it's all right to wash the skin, but I know this is in grocery stores and people have been touching on this type of stuff, man. So, you know, I try to do a little bit of cleanliness next to it. But yeah, man, nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. <laughs> all right, so we got some papaya here. Let's chop it up. Look at how easy and smooth that is. If you don't know, this is the Nama J2. This is my beautiful juicer made by Nama Well. Shout out Nama Well. And it's really just an easy, simple juicer. It is a bit expensive, but it's worth it because you can juice literally any and everything. It gives you the greatest bang for your buck, right? We know we got to take that picture for the cover. <laughs> I always got to do that, but it does. It gives you the greatest bang for your buck. Most juicers, some juicers can't handle, you know, when you're doing like uh, ginger and stuff like that. But this Nama Well Daddy, man, I promise you, it does everything that you need it to do and then some. So shout out to the wonderful people at Nama Well. Go ahead, get you one by going to namawell.com. Other than that, simple juice today. We're going to leave these seeds in here. I'm not really tripping off the seeds. Like I said, the seeds is one of the more beautiful parts. Mm-hmm, 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 All right. Now, I'm not going to lie. If you're just eating papaya just to be eating it, papaya is dope, man. I can't even front. I love to eat papaya in the morning, like as a breakfast. It's just always treated me well when I've eaten it that way. And so if you're doing it that type of way, nothing wrong with that. I actually recommend it. If you're trying to store papaya, I'll do that real quick before we get up out of here. Because you know I make my juices and I roll. I scram, skedaddle. You dig what I'm talking about? But we just put a nice little quick thumb of ginger in there. And as you can see, more things are starting to be stored in my um, in my ball mason jars. <laughs> but if you're trying to store papaya, I'll do a quick little demo on that. And this time I'm going to leave the skin on because this one is going to be eaten and not uh, ingested through juice. But, but the seed is real simple. And then I'll, since this one is so big, I'll cut it. Boom. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it, cut it. Your price is way too high. You need to cut it. <laughs> that papaya way too far. I need to cut it. Bam. So it looks like I'm gonna need two. So I might go back and get another one. But for right now, that, that's good. Just store it like that. And when you're ready on the day where you want, you got breakfast rolling and you want some good fruit, papaya. Now, like I said, I did have some pineapple laying around the house. When I mean laying around the house, I really meant laying around the house. And um, it was getting ready to go bad. I could tell by the stemming of it. So I just went ahead and put some pieces in here in the juicer. Went ahead and cut it up real quick. And I'm going to use probably about, hmm, I say I probably use about a good uh, six chunks, as you can see. This should make a really good juice. Let's check it out. And of course, I'm going to store this uh, pineapple back the way it was. You know, you, you might not even know. You can make the same juice again. Because, look, I got all the products right here. So, make the same juice again. But here we go. 
trying to be a little bit more clean, so get all this out the way. Especially since I gotta wash my hands after this. Ooh, I'm gonna use this for that. Bang. See how it's actually turning into like a juice? See, it's so syrupy, and pineapple can be that way too. That's why I was trying to be careful with the way I did things. All right. Mm. Almost done. So we use this time to talk about the ebook. You know we got the ebook on sale, the You Got the Juice Now ebook. We got physical copies. Shout out to the ladies that are getting physical copies and the gentlemen. We do have the digital copy. And we have our nonprofit, musictothemind.org. We help struggling families. We help children. We help adults. We just really teach you skills that are used as mechanisms to get over very intense emotional situations, PTSD situations, just mental handicaps where you normally don't have the tools. You can use some of the things we teach at Music to the Mind to leverage your mind into a better place because we want to be thriving instead of surviving, always. You got to relax that hippocampus. If you know what that is, great. If you don't, hippocampus is the part of the brain that regulates the fight or flight response, whether you're going to stand up to a challenge or whether you're going to run away from it. Once you learn to relax that hippocampus, you learn to fight more of your battles and you know you stand in the face of danger. Some danger you're supposed to run from. Like a tiger trying to maul you, you might want to run from that. But when you have to face life issues, relax your hippocampus, do some meditation, some breathing. Easy money. Let's taste this. Mmm. Mmm. This is chill. I feel like I could put this with soap with like an alcohol at the Bahamas. Don't, don't judge me for saying alcohol. But it's really good. It gives me a tropical feel. It makes me want to smile and use all my teeth. Um, it's really cool. It tastes almost like a smoothie because of the uh, papaya. You know, the papaya consistency. But uh, that pineapple does flush it into a juice. And the ginger is really good. So this is real easy. I think you guys got all the equivalencies of what you need, right? You know we got the digital ebook. I hope you enjoy being served as far as you're getting the information that you need. If you have any questions, please contact us at yougotthejuicenow at gmail.com. Um, you know we got different segments now. Mindfulness Monday, Wellness Wednesday. Uh, we still got our You Got the Juice, but we're going to start introducing art. And we just want to give you as many positive nuggets as we can. We're not just here for no money. We're here to serve you, and I hope you understand that. Take care of your mind. Relax that hippocampus. We love you. Eric Kutu, the juice man. You got the juice now. You got the juice. Peace.